Hello everybody, my name is Rodrigo and welcome to Travelzilla. You know, the video today is going to be a bit different because, you know, this is a travel channel after all. But guess what? I do edit my videos and I use this computer here, which is a laptop called Predator Helios 300. It's one of the best in the market for gaming and editing videos as well. And today I'm going to open it up and add to it this, an SSD of 512 megabytes. And I'm going to share it all with you. So. And I'm going to teach you how to make sure you configure your computer so that it recognizes the SSD, okay? Stay tuned for the recognition process. Maybe simple, but it's also a bit tricky. Let's go! Hello everybody, my name is Rodrigo and you're watching Travelzilla and the video today is going to be a bit different because you know this is a travel channel after all and this is the computer where I edit my stuff. It's a Predator Helios 300. It's pretty cool, right? It's one of the best computers out there for gamers and also for video editing for vlogs and stuff like that. And today I'm going to open my computer because I'm going to add an SSD to it and I'm going to share this experience with you guys. So don't forget to check out my unboxing video of the Predator Helios 300. It's a beast. There are two versions of the video available here on Travelzilla in both English and Portuguese. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. It's about time we start. Let's go. Let's go. The Gamex S11 Pro employs an extra fast interface supporting NVMe 1.3 and delivers blazing fast read and write speeds of up to 3500 by 3000 megabytes per second. The S11 Pro is encased in a heat sink that reduces its temperature by up to 10 degrees Celsius. Plus, it's equipped with 3D NAND flash along with SLC caching, DRAM cache buffer, end-to-end -end data protection and LDPC ECC technology that maintain high speeds and data integrity even during intense gaming, rendering, overclocking and other high demand applications. I asked Leandro to help me out. He's an IT guy with 10 years of experience in the banking industry and an MBA in cloud computing. Say hello to everybody, Leandro. Now let's talk about the tools you need to open your laptop and install your SSD card, okay? First and foremost, you need to buy proper guitar picks so that you won't leave any scratches nor marks on your laptop. You're probably better off buying it online. Do your research, okay? It will be cheaper that way. And most guitar picks will come in toolkits, all right? Do your research, guys. The stars of the show for me were this white plastic pry opener, which cost me around $2.50 US and that has left zero marks on my computer. And also this screwdriver box with screwdrivers of various sizes. I've used two different screwdriver tips, if you know what I mean. And the entire thing cost me just under 10 US dollars, not to mention the three extra guitar picks that I bought. Ended up not using, but I bought all three for one dollar. This is the screwdriver we've used to unscrew the structure of my laptop and open it. It's a VPH000 screwdriver, the one we used in phase one. This is the SSD we're going to install. It's called the Gamex S11 Pro, as you know. Before we start, have a good look at the structure of your computer and come up with a plan of action. Be patient. You need to plan before you act so that you don't screw this up, literally, okay? I advise you to find a good pillow or thick blanket and use it below your computer, okay? We've used a white pillow to protect the computer and also to contrast with the dark screws that will fall off the computer itself. This contrast will make the screws easier to find. Keep in mind that you need to count how many screws there are and write it down on a piece of paper so that you don't forget it later, okay? It's easy to forget. You're also gonna have to take off however many lids there might be, two in my case, and then unscrew the interior of both compartments you took the lids off of. Otherwise, you won't be able to open the computer and install your SSD card of choice. Be gentle throughout this entire process so that you don't leave any marks or scratches on your computer. We've counted 17 screws so far, 17. Make sure you've unscrewed every single screw obviously and then gently flip the computer. The black screws will be easy to find on top of a white pillow or blanket. Make sure all screws have been unscrewed. It's not as simple as you may think, okay? Double check always.
place all the screws on a tray or inside a box. Check out whether or not you've left any of them attached and after that use the pry opener or spatules to take the respective lids off. Remove the lids and examine whether or not any screws need to be unscrewed within the respective compartments opened. Check out if the screwdriver is the same for some of the internal screws might differ from the external ones. We had to change the screwdriver we used from a VPH000 to an CRV 1.5 screwdriver and it worked. Make sure every screw has been removed for if you try to open the machine, even a single screw may stop you from doing it and worse than that, you may end up breaking or damaging the structure of your laptop, imagine. So be careful, that's what I mean, be careful, double check. It's enough. Once you make sure all screws have been removed, use the spatula or plastic pry opener to actually open up your respective laptops. My computer came with an extra hard drive, so I had to detach it from the computer in order to open it. So please do the same, you know, if that's your case. Try sliding the pry opener or spatula or even a guitar pick in the area both sides of your computer structure meet. Insert the opener in between that little space you see there and gently open it. You hear clicks as the structure starts to open. It's gonna sound like this. Be gentle, okay? Try sliding the pry opener, spatula or guitar pick in the area both sides of your computer box meet. Insert the opener in between, you know, in that little space and gently open it. You'll hear cracks as the structure starts to open. It's gonna sound like this. Be gentle with it, okay? Be careful, especially in the areas by the various USB ports where the structure gets more delicate and if you try hard, you may break it all together. That part of the laptop is more fragile than the rest, okay? Ai, que tá. Que tá. 
servem para tudo. Né? Make sure all screws have been removed and open it. This is what it looks like inside. Pretty cool, huh? The ventilation system is good, but way more advanced than the Helios 500, of course. Okay, let's check out the SSD. It's so beautiful, wow. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Wow, what a beautiful piece. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Once you take it out of the box, place the SSD Gemix S11 Pro in the SSD port. Don't forget to screw it onto the computer. It needs to stay attached to the computer structure, okay? It can't be loose. Now it's time to put everything back in its place and screw it all back together. When you close the computer, you're gonna press both parts of the structure against each other. You're gonna hear a clicking noise, just like this. After you've done that, screw it all back together and you'll be all set. Now, all you need to do is make sure the computer recognizes the SSD card and uses it properly. Let's go over how you get that part done. Now, all you need to do is make sure the computer recognizes the SSD card and uses it properly. Let's go over how you do that. Let's go. Now we need to complete the installation process. We've actually installed the SSD card inside your computer, but now we need to get it to work. So let's go. First, you need to open your Explorer program. Then look for this computer and right click on it. A new window will appear. Look for the Windows Device Manager. Sorry guys, it's all in Portuguese, but you know what? My system here is in Portuguese. So look for Windows Device Manager. So amongst all disk units, you'll find one called XPG Gamex S11 Pro. That's your SSD card. So your computer knows it's there. Your SSD is inside the computer. It works, but now we need to get it to work together with the computer, okay? We need to complete the installation and recognition process. How do we do that? Now you're gonna find storage. In some computers it's called repository. Okay, so storage, and then disk management, and then disk one partition. Under the disk one partition section, all disk units will appear. Your SSD section should have a black bar at the top of it. Right click on the SSD box and select properties. A window will pop up and the name of your SSD card should be written. Press OK to confirm. Now go back to the SSD portion we just right clicked on, okay? And then right click on the white space this time and select New Simple Volume. And then Assistant will pop up. Okay, right click on the white portion and then select New Simple Volume. Did you do it? Now select the unit you'd like. Well, we chose G and then the name of your new simple volume. We called, well, you can call it whatever you'd like. We called ours HD150. And then after you do that, select 
perform quick format. And then you're gonna be all set. Now select the unit you'd like. Well, we chose G and then the name of your new simple volume. We called, well, you can call it whatever you'd like. We called ours HD150. And then after you do that, select perform quick format. And then you're gonna be all set. So that's it everybody. Thank you so much for staying with me all the way to the end of this video. I hope this helped you in any way, shape or form. Uh, don't forget to watch my travel videos, to access my blog at travelsilliam.com and also to check out my other travel videos. No, my travel videos actually because this isn't one of them. And don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. See you in my next videos. Goodbye. Good luck to you guys. Bye bye.